I'm a Tali. That name means something. The House Tarly sigil is a red huntsman over a green banner. The clashing vibrant colors and the figure in a fighting stance highlight the House's emphasis on battle and the military. Like the hunter on their sigil, the Tarleys have an unstoppable drive. This helps them doggedly pursue their goals, but it also means they can be overambitious and stubborn. You cannot send me to the war. You are not my queen. House Tarly was historically a vassal to House Tyrell, but it's one of the most prominent houses in the Reach, the most fertile land of Westeros. So House Tarly is pretty wealthy. The highly traditional Tarleys pride themselves on faithful service and courage in battle. Overall, House Tarly represents military strength, old-fashioned values, perseverance, inflexibility, contradiction, ambition, and loyalty. I won't let you go. Move. No! Before we go on, be sure to hit subscribe and click the bell to get notifications on all of our new videos. Of course, the member of House Tarly we all know and love best is Samwell Tarly. I always wanted to be a wizard. And Sam's the black sheep of his family. He clashes with his ultra-traditional father, Randall. I thought the Night's Watch might make a man of you. Something resembling a man at least. To manage to stay soft and fat. You know, buried in books. Spending your life reading about the achievements of better men. But even if Samwell seems like he's made of different stuff than Randall, both men embody the deeper qualities of their house. They echo the Huntsman, Randall in his fierce pursuit of glory for the Tarly name, and Sam in his thirst for knowledge. You may be a coward, Tarly, but you're not stupid. They're both steadfast and endlessly passionate about their causes. Archmaester, please. It's real. I've seen it. It might take Sam longer to grow into his Tarly nature, but he does share his family's prowess in battle, noble values, and history of overcoming great odds. Fine soldier, your father. You don't look like a soldier. I'm told you killed a white walker. During Robert's rebellion, House Tarly fought alongside the Targaryens, whom they saw as the rightful rulers of Westeros. Yet while they're traditional and loyal, the Tarleys are also tempted by power and glory. In Season 7, Randall Tarly abandons his allegiance to the Tyrells to serve Queen Cersei, in a gamble to replace the Tyrells as rulers of Highgarden and Wardens of the South. This seems to pay off when the Lannisters eliminate House Tyrell. But when Randall and his son Dickon refuse to bend the knee to Daenerys, they meet a swift end. Randall's and Dickon's deaths showcase both the core values and the contradictions of the house. Randall had just shown himself to be opportunistic and faithless, so it made no sense that he wouldn't bend the knee when he'd only recently changed sides, after breaking a long-standing oath to the Tyrells to advance his own house. You will not kneel? I already have a queen. My sister. She wasn't your queen until recently, though, was she? When she murdered your rightful queen, and destroyed House Tyrell for all time. So it appears your allegiances are somewhat flexible. Yet, on the other hand, Randall feels it's important in battle to stand behind his word to the end. And if we're being generous, he might believe he's serving Westeros' rightful queen, as she fends off an army of foreign invaders. Sure, Randall used to serve Danny's father, but he is an old-fashioned guy who's not going to accept a queen ushered in by Dothraki and Unsullied. An army of savages at her back. So, as we've seen, sometimes the Tarleys' determined ambition clashes with their rigid traditions leading to inconsistent behaviors. No easy choices in war. The house motto, first in battle, boasts of their proud connection to the military. With your permission, flogging stragglers has a marked effect on mobility. Their most prized possession is the Valerian steel sword known as Heartsbane. Tarleys are known for their strength in warfare, and they command one of the biggest and best trained armies in Westeros. You were the only man to defeat Robert Baratheon in battle, not even Rhaegar to Garion. It's a long ride back to the Reach, Sir Jamie. How may I serve? The motto also speaks to the way the Tarleys fight. As noble generals, they don't stand back and send out other bodies to fight for them. When Randall fights with the Lannisters and supplies his army, he personally joins his troops on the battlefield and puts his safety at risk. The Tarly motto helps explain why Randall rejects Sam from his house. For the head of a family that's all about military prowess and reputation in battle, it's unfathomable to have a son who rejects all of that history for gentle activities like reading and learning. On the morning of my 18th name day, my father came to me. You're almost a man now, he said. 
But you're not worthy of my land and title. But Randall does have another son who lives up to his expectations of military talent and traditionalism. Dickon. <laughs> Shortly before his death, Sam's brother Dickon braves his first ever battles against the Tyrells and Daenerys' army. I hear you fought bravely at Highgard. Your first battle? It was glorious. Dickon does well in battle, but his attempt to match his father's stubborn integrity gets him killed. Randall shows mixed feelings when Dickon follows his example. You will have to kill me too. Step back and shut your mouth. Randall turned his son into a copy of himself, and so he can't talk Dickon out of being so stupidly stubborn. The Tarleys do seem to be aware of their own confusing inconsistencies and inconveniently rigid commitment to their causes. And we wonder if, in his final moments, Randall might question whether he was wrong to have such rigid expectations of both his sons. You are the future of your house. This war has already wiped one great house from the world. Don't let it happen again. Bend the knee. I will not. In Dickon, Randall got the son he wanted, but this wasn't necessarily such a good thing. Sam is the son who lives and who actually has the chance to continue the Tarly line into the future. It's symbolic that Sam steals his family's sword, Heartsbane. He wasn't given his father's blessing, but he steals that blessing anyway. And he'll be the one to carry on his family's future, thanks to his unstoppable will, the very thing that makes him such a Tarly. Sam, that's your father's sword. It's my family sword. Sam, won't he come for it? He can bloody well try. The Tarly colors, green and red, are bold, opposing colors that we generally think clash. So their colors too underline their contradictory nature. They're as faithful as they are opportunistic, as glory-driven to rise as they are rigidly immovable. The deep green of the sigil's background is a color of growth and prosperity, representing the lush and fertile lands of the Tarly's home, the Reach. It's so green. Green is also associated with greed and ambition, the color also reminds us of the Tarly's historical service to House Tyrell, which also used green to boast of their wealth from the Reach. But most of all, the Tyrell green came to express their plotting and opportunism. And Randall shows the opportunism of the Tarly house when he switches sides in season seven. Sam does show the Tarly ambition and desire for power, just not in the way his father wanted. During his time at the Citadel, Sam is constantly frustrated with his lack of sway among the maesters. They set me to the task of preserving that man's wind accounting and annulments and bowel movements for all eternity, while the secret to defeating the Night King is probably sitting on some dusty shelf somewhere completely ignored. Sam doesn't respect the usual chain of authority. He shows off and disobeys orders, like when he heals Jorah Mormont of Grayscale, even though he's been explicitly forbidden from doing this because it's too dangerous. After his success, if he's not in trouble, Sam half expects a promotion or some sort of recognition. You were expecting a reward. Sam is eager to be put into a position where he can really make an impact. This is due to the urgency of the White Walker threat that he knows is real and dire, but it's also due to an inherent Tarly instinct to distinguish oneself and rise to a place of influence. Red is a color of power, as well as blood and violence, symbolizing House Tarly's battle-hardened readiness to fight. Red is also the color of passion, a Tarly follows his passion, whether it's for war or for knowledge. Sam is passionate about literature and all kinds of learning, pursuits that Randall considers to be effeminate hobbies. Randall sends Sam to the wall to toughen him up, but this doesn't work the way Randall intends. Instead of developing a taste for battle and violence, he grows passionate about a significant cause, the fight against the White Walkers. And his dedication to this greater battle helps him tap into his Tarly strengths and grow into the greatest version of himself. This is irregular. Uh, yes, well, I suppose that life is irregular. House Tarly's symbol is a striding huntsman with a bow and arrow, representing forward movement and a noble form of fighting. The hunter's stance varies in different renderings of the sigil, but he's generally mid-forward stride. So the symbol projects that the Tarleys are constantly advancing forward. In battle, they advance on the enemy. In politics, they're committed to always progressing and improving their house status. The huntsman's arrow is drawn, ready to shoot, just as the Tarleys are always battle ready, prepared for any fight. The bow and arrow also represent noble weapons, out in the open, 
compared to a hidden knife or poison. So the Tarleys don't see treachery and trickery as worthy tools in their battle. They're upfront about what they do and believe, even to a fault. We're not oath breakers, not schemers. We don't stab our rivals in the back or cut their throats at weddings. Like their figure, both Sam and Randall are hunting for something, stubbornly pursuing their goals. No one wants to get between a Tarly and whatever he set his mind on doing. He risked his own life to save mine more than once. He's a greater warrior than either of you will ever be. Randall thought his disappointing son was at odds with everything House Tarly represents. But we've come to see that Randall couldn't have been more wrong. I made a promise to defend the wall and I have to keep it because that's what men do. The Tarleys can be confusing. They certainly have their faults and their militarized way of life isn't for everyone. But their stubborn commitment to their values points to an admirable nobility and strength of character. Now with House Tarly commanding the Reach and Samwell left to represent his family, it remains to be seen what role this noble house could play in the final battle against the White Walkers. Are you sure you want to do this? You always wanted to be a maester. I'm tired of reading about the achievements of better men. It's Deborah and Susanna, and you're watching Screen Prism. Thanks guys so much for watching. We post videos every Saturday and Sunday and during the week, so hit that subscribe button and you'll get access to all of our videos. We can't thank you enough for your support. Thank you.